In today's video, we will be learning about adding snow effects in Infinite Flight. I will be using Adobe After Effects CC 2018 for this tutorial. Download link is included in the description. Make a new composition, 1920 by 1080, 60 frames per second and duration 10 seconds. Let's import footage, and a bokeh effect image. Double click on the footage to open it, then click to insert a starting, an end point, and click to add to the comp. I will take 5 seconds from the footage by dragging from each side, and right click to select. Trim composition to work area. Right click and select new, adjustment layer. Let's rename it to cabin brightness. Right click on effect controls, color correction, and exposure. Let's reduce the value. Now use the tilde button, the button above tab, to go full screen, to make a mask of the window portion. Use the pen tool to start drawing mask. To break handles, use alt or option. I will speed up the selection part. Once done, open the cabin brightness layer, go to masks, and invert the mask we just made. This makes the brightness effect only the cabin, and negates the outside. Next, let's take a new, solid layer, and fill with black color. Change blend mode to screen. Then right click, choose, effects, noise and grain, add grain. Adjust settings as I am doing. Let's copy the mask from the cabin brightness layer, paste it to this layer, and uncheck inverted. This helps us add the grain only to the outside view, window texture precisely. Rename the layer, play with the opacity to get desired results. Let's take another layer, set the color to white, and once again, paste that same mask from grain, to get it only in the window view area. This layer will give the feel of the clouds. We will play with opacity animation, by clicking on the clock and changing values at any frame, to make the clouds look intermittent. If your computer is a bit laggy or slow, feel free to change the preview quality from full to half, or quarter. We duplicate the clouds feel layer, to get enhanced effects. Select both layers, right click, Pre-Compose. Lock layers to prevent any accidental changes. Now let's take a new solid layer with white color, rename it to Snow Effect. And in the Effect Controls, right click, Effects, Simulation, CC Snowfall. Adjust parameters as I have done. Change rotation angle of this layer, so it looks like the snow is going opposite to the direction of the aircraft. Let's lock this layer temporarily, and move to the next step. Bring in the bulkhead effect image, reduce the scale of it, right click, pre-compose, and then copy paste the mask from window grain layer. This makes the bulkhead effect visible on the outside. Choose multiply blend mode and play with opacity values. Once again, right click, choose new, solid layer, rename it as clouds. Now, right click, effects, noise and grain, fractal noise, change values as shown, and set blending mode to screen, animate, the evolution as shown, as well as, the sub offset. This helps in creating a motion for our clouds. Once again, copy paste the mask from the grain layer, to make the clouds visible only outside, and not inside. Create a copy of the clouds layer, and alter opacities to see what looks fit. I am going to mask out the wing as well, so it doesn't look like the clouds are floating over the wings. Once done, it will show as mask too. Simply subtract this mask, so the wing is discarded from clouds layer. Easily adjust masks at any time by pressing G. After this, right click, new, adjustment layer, rename it as outside saturation, go to effects, color correction, and, choose saturation, reduce the cyan and blue values, so the sky looks a bit like winter, make sure all layers are locked, to be safe. Now make a mask, bring this shape layer with the mask above the snow effect layer, select the snow effect layer, and from track mat, select alpha mat. If track mat isn't showing, use toggle switches option below. This makes the snowfall visible outside only. We can adjust the mask as always. Select motion blur and activate it by clicking. 
select all layers, right click, recompose, and now we can just add a position and scale animation to make it look more realistic. Finally change the preview to full, from any lower preview quality we are in, and RAM preview this, our animation is getting ready. Once done, go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue, select Lossless, then Format of your choice, Quick Time is preferred, and hit OK. Specify Output to Destination, and then click on Render, to save the animation to the disk. That's how we can add snow effects to our flights. Like share and subscribe to my channel for more quality content coming soon. Take care.